Hi, I'm Mel from Cotswold Outdoor, and this is the Ayacucho Panish Quilted Anorak. So I've used this jacket for a range of things so far. I use it for my daily commute when the weather's a bit miserable. I've used it walking the dogs up on the moors. It's also got quite nice, slightly retro styling, so I have worn it to the pub quite happily. There's a water repellency to the fabric, but that's only going to keep off a light shower, so I definitely wouldn't think of it as a wet weather piece. It would be layered underneath a waterproof jacket in that kind of situation. Particularly high activity, it would be too warm for. I definitely wouldn't be wearing this for a run. I would probably only wear it hiking if it was particularly cold. It might be a piece I wear at the beginning of the hike, stash in my rucksack and pull it out again if I'm stopping to have something to eat and it's a bit chilly. It's lovely and lightweight, got a synthetic insulation in it, which is called Serona Aura, and that's 37% plant-based insulation. I would not recommend eating this jacket. It's a pull over the head style, so you've got a quarter zip to let a little heat out if you are getting a little bit too warm, but I do find that the synthetic insulation in this, because it isn't too thick and it is breathable, it does balance your temperature quite well. It's got elasticated cuffs, a draw cord at the hem, so you can trap in a little extra warmth if you like. A front pocket here, there's a zip on either side, but that joins in the middle. The nice sized and shaped hood. The hood is adjustable at the sides with these two toggles here, so you can cinch in if needed. Size-wise, Ayacucho for women does tend to size a little bit on the small side when it comes to tops. So I'm five foot eight and I would normally wear a 12 for comfort. I'm wearing the large, which would equate to a 14 at the moment. This I find is the comfortable size for me, giving me freedom of movement. I only have a t-shirt on underneath it at the moment, but I can comfortably fit a fleece or a sweatshirt underneath it, which in the medium or 12 in this top, I find a little bit too snug. To keep this top looking its best, you would want to wash it from time to time with a tech wash. Either Nick Wax or Granger's would be great. A low heat though, and that's going to refresh the DWR on the surface of the fabric and keep the insulation inside fresh and working at its best.